Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will explain how we can make a weather application using Kotlin. I shared the source code of the application on GitHub account. You can access the GitHub account from the link in the description of the video. You can subscribe to YouTube channel to watch more videos like this. First, the CD and API variables were created in the project. Thanks to CD variable, we can specify the weather information of which country and city we want. An application programming interface is a set of definitions created for a software to use its function defined in another software. API, it can be used for web application, operating system, database, hardware or software library. We will take a look at the document of the API used in the project shortly. Let's get Paris weather information instead of New York. We can easily get the Paris weather by changing the string variable. When we run the application again, we will see the weather information of the city of Paris. Let's take a look at the document of the API used in the project. The website gives some information about the weather. Although some of information is free, there are also paid versions. Let's take a look at the document of the API we will use. All information about the application is given in detail in the document. We will use these keywords to transfer objects in the application. For example, I can transfer the maximum and minimum temperature of the city for which the weather information is requested to the application by using these two variables. I recommend that you study the document carefully. There is a lot of information about the weather in the document. You can have your own API code instead of using my own API. To do this, you need to be a member of the website. I shared the link of the website in the description of the video. After you become a member, click the subscribe button to get the API code. Certain information is shared with you free of charge. You will make a detailed application and you can choose paid memberships. You can get your own keyword by clicking the get API key button. I will use my own API key in the project. If you want, you can use my keyword after transferring the project from GitHub to your computer. Let's continue to review the project codes. In order to transfer the information received from the API to the application, Internet permission must be given in the manifest file. Once permission is granted, you can begin to obtain the information. Simple adjustments were made in the design part of the project. Each created object has its own identity information. The identities of the objects were used in the coding part. The information from the API was synchronized with objects in the design. You can change the design as you wish. I will explain how the synchronization process is done in detail in the coding section. A function called weather task was created and in fact all processes were created in this function. In the pre-execute section, it is determined which objects will be displayed when the application is first opened. For example, if there is an error message for any reason, we don't want to show it on the screen. For this reason, the visibility property was set to gone. Back API connection is provided in the doing background section. The API key and city name determined at the beginning of the project are actually used in this link. Thanks to this link, we can transfer the information to the application. In the on post execute section, all the weather information of the desired city is transferred to the application by using the keywords in the document. You can browse all the keywords used in the API document. All transferred information is synchronized with the application objects. Let's focus on the temp, max and min objects for better understanding. In summary, the information was determined to the application with the keywords in the document. Then the transferred information was synchronized with the link objects in the application. Information transfer is updated periodically. The interval in the information transfer is related to the API membership fee. 
If for any reason an error occurs while transferring information, the error message will be displayed on the screen. I explained the project in detail. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. You can support us by subscribing to our YouTube channel.